And when we bring these, uh, this information together, we must remember that we're bringing not just an ARCHICAD model and exporting uh, ARCHICAD data from an ARCHICAD into COBE. Um, the information is actually collated from a series of models, and it could come from a whole diff bunch of different tools in relation to doing that. Now, we personally use Celebri to do this process. You can use, there are various other tools that can do this. Um, some are better than others. Um, but primarily, we're bringing the three models together. And the building services model may be split as well in mechanical, electrical, and public health. Um, you may even have a landscape model. But we're bringing those uh, models together to federate them. We should also note that, many, as I've already noted, that many of the structural elements are not really included in the, in the COBE output. So really, we actually need the building services and the architecture. And once we bring those together, we need to validate them together, validate those two things. And then we can export our COBE from that model. We should also say that COBE doesn't just end at the design part, and there is more information to supplement uh, product data and installation information that would be primarily populated by a contractor or supply, supplier uh, or subcontractor. And then once we've, we've done that, we can ultimately exchange that information with a facilities management tool. Validation is a, is a real critical part and often missed. People just dump this stuff out. So having a validation process, whether it's manual or automated in our case using Celebri, is a key part of producing uh, reliable information for uh, the client. And again, uh, our particular model that we created uh, had a set of rules created for it in order to generate that output. So just some of the examples, and I think this is really important, I'm slightly running out of time, but just some examples of, of the kind of outputs that you can produce or outputs you would typically produce. So this is spatial information. This is a schedule of accommodation, and there's also a list of zones here. This information is stuff we would produce typically uh, on our drawing sheets or, or um, as an Excel output for, for other people. This is stuff we're already doing, but all the data here is captured by Kobe. Same with the information in our door schedule. All this information that you see in our door schedule um, is captured by, by the Kobe export. So if we take a door as an example, um, we often put our door number on a plan. We may put the door number in section, elevation, and in our door schedule. But of course, with a model output, the, that same piece of data is in our IFC model and ultimately ends up in our Kobe. So this is probably the most important slide uh, for any ARCHICAD user to understand is we're not trying to do anything different here with Kobe. We're trying to um, slightly adjust our processes, but to create uh, better quality information as an output. And the model is really just another mechanism for doing that. And as ARCHICAD users, you're probably very uh, comfortable with producing schedules and information from a model. And really, this is just one step further in terms of handing that information over in a standardized mechanism to a client. And of course, we can use that information for different purposes. Whilst we've created information for Kobe, if we, if we create the same information, we can then create it for uh, other purposes like quantity takeoff and ultimately costing. And uh, you can, of course, expect, exchange information, uh, IFC, that same IFC model, into things like Costex and, and other um, costing bits of software and produce uh, that, that same, use that same information to, to, for other purposes. Equally, you can cheat and, and slightly skip a step and not bother with Kobe and actually take, go straight from IFC into a, a facility management tool. Now, we just did this as an experiment rather than necessarily a workflow we would use, but there are tools that allow the input of IFC and then you could supplement that data directly within a facilities management tool. So there are different ways of, of, of achieving the same, ultimately the same result, which is transferring our design and ultimately production information uh, or product information into a facilities management tool. And we're starting to see new workflows. So this is a workflow using an IFC into uh, Clearbox's BIM Extra, where we import the IFC, uh, allows the shed information to be seen in a web browser, and allows information to be supplemented by the subcontractor. This then allows the main contractor to order those uh, elements, in this case doors, from, from that uh, workflow. And again, just an extreme example, just to say, look, you know, this, this can happen on anything. It doesn't have to happen on a very simple box. This is a really complicated project for the University of Sheffield that we're working on at the moment, which has, you know, a massive amount of complexity and models going, going, in, going together. And we don't actually have any BIM requirement on this particular project. Uh, we are primarily focused on delivering drawings and delivering a, a coordinated model. But 
without really aiming to get there, COBE is information that we are now generating as part of our standard processes. So it's something that we want to, to integrate into our, into our workflows rather than making something that's additional. 